keep dying in Doom Eternal Ultra Nightmare? I don't care. That being said, here's how to not do that. In this video, we'll be covering Art Complex. Welcome to the home of Bamuel Satan, or former home. I don't know, the guy probably fucking lived here. Head down the elevator shaft to start the first fight. The beginning of this level is mostly close quarters, so I'd recommend avoiding any sort of rocket combos just for now. If you find yourself getting this far from an enemy, you can use it though safely. The only real threat in the arena is the Mancubus at the start and then the Whiplash, so PB Ballista will get you around just fine. If the door doesn't open when you feel like you've killed everything, just go back and check for any leftover zombies. This arena doesn't like killing things for you in order for you to progress. In the next room over, you'll encounter a Hell Knight and a Pinky. There's actually a really commonly used strategy for dealing with Pinkies, and it kind of turns them into an absolute joke. I did a terrible example of it back there, but I'll show you again in a minute. Here comes the Revenant, the easiest enemy in the game. You can literally two-shot him. And in this hallway, you'll find a Hell Knight and a Mancubus. If you keep on the first half of the hallway, the Mancubus will not jump up onto the ledge. This will make the Hell Knight a lot easier to fight as there won't be any pressure on you. Once you finish off the Hell Knight, you can easily go for the Mancubus. In my footage, I already killed both of them, but you know. Great thing to remember if you don't like fighting more than one enemy. On the floor below, you'll find two Lindsay Lohans. I recommend using PB Ballista as it's more accurate. Alternatively, if you want the splash damage to kill them, you can use PB Rocket. And in this arena, all there really is is a carcass. No big deal. The last hallway down below isn't really that hard until this Mancubus spawns in. Usually, I'd go just for a PB Rocket, but my dumbass decided to blood punch despite not having any blood punch, so I almost died here. Moral of the story, use PB Rocket here. And also, watch out for the bullshit carcass ground attack that somehow phased through fucking fat ass manky by. After killing this Revenant here, you've now entered your first arena. Good job. The obvious tip for this one would be to just avoid purple goo entirely. Stay on the side of the arena where you see me. Don't go into that bus area. I find this entire fight easier if you just don't go to the other side since there's so much more purple goo over there. The arena starts off with two Mancubi and a Revenant, then a Mancubus, a Carcass, and a Keiko Demon, and then a Dread Knight and a Revenant, if I recall. This could be useful in the sense that you'd use all your PB Ballista shots on the Mancubi, and then use PB Rocket on the Dread Knight and the Revenant. Ammo planning makes it so you don't have to chainsaw nearly as much, but, you know, if you like those invincibility frames, then you can do it however the fuck you want. Yeah, you made a pass, but you're still shit at the game. Oh yeah, and here's the little pinky trick I was gonna show you. Basically, all you have to do is fully upgrade chain gun shield, and then you can dash into pinkies with it enabled. For some reason, it does an exorbitant amount of damage. I'm not sure why, but it just does, so yeah, have fun. Look, it's a funny cyber mancubus. These guys are actually really easy to take out most of the time. All you have to do is meat hook onto them and then point blank SSG them and then immediately blood punch after if you have it. Once again, terrible example, but it'll show up in a later video probably. All there really is in this arena is a Prowler and an Arachnatron. Just as a tip for Prowlers, you can either SSG them point blank and they'll immediately die, or you can get a direct Ballista shot on them and they'll be staggered from it. After those two arenas, there's just a bunch of platforming between the levels with, you know, maybe one or two heavies in between. Also, make sure to grab the Sentinel Crystal. There's also a little platforming skip where you don't have to punch the little cube thing to get on top of this area. You can just jump from one climbable wall to the other for some reason and then, you know, Go on your merry way. Oh no, there's a Hell Knight here that you can easily just fucking avoid or kill if you want. Oh, there's also this thing. Jump down into the plane and you'll realize why it fucking crashed in the first place. This fat ass Mancubus resides in it. And his buddy's right at the end of the plane too. He probably was also involved with the crash. And another Praetor token. This arena's not that bad either, just make sure you keep some airtime so that the fucking Dread Knight doesn't come down and want to slam your ass. If the doors don't open after you think you've killed everything, make sure there's no Prowlers hiding on the outside of the arena. As you scale the stairs, just watch for the occasional Heavy, which is mostly just Pinkies and Revenants. If you can't deal with Pinkies and Revenants, despite all the tips I've shown you, you might as well quit. You can actually run straight through this hallway, just be careful because a Mancubus will drop down. As a tip for dashing, make sure not to use both dashes at once. Use only one and every time it recharges, use that again. A single dash is gonna recharge way faster than having to recharge two at one time. Welcome to the hardest arena in Art Complex, and also your last one. You'll see what I mean in a sec, so stop fucking complaining. This arena can be a run-ender unless you use the Berserk power-up below the bridge. If you don't feel comfortable fighting like a whole bunch of Mancubi and one Cyber Mancubi, just go and grab the Berserk and it'll make the entire thing a piece of cake. There's also like four whiplashes at the end of the arena, so watch out for those too. The very last enemy to spawn will be a Cyber Mancubus in the middle of the arena, 
Uh, so just take him out with PB Rocket. Alternatively, if you want, you can falter him with a point blank SSG and then Blood Punch, but I didn't have any Blood Punch. Contradicting my own statement in the last clip, but there's apparently a fucking Mancubus paired with the Cyber Mancubus, so don't let him kill you. Again, remember that PB SSG, PB Ballista, and PB Rocket are your best friends, and they're gonna get you through this entire fucking game. If you want, you can still use SSG Ballista, but I never find myself using it anymore. Commit Reverse Psychology on the Pinky, and now you're gonna do a huge level skip. Here's what it looks like. Essentially what I did here is I used the roof to get as physically high as possible, and then I used one of the enemies below to give me even more of a height advantage. Pretty sure people just call this meat hook jumping, but either way, yeah, it works. Once you get as high as possible, turn around and use the ballista to shoot yourself toward the bridge. Every time you shoot the ballista, there's a slight knockback, and this is increased when you're in the air. I would personally recommend practicing this in, like, mission select on a previous save slot or something, because it's not easy to do the first time around. And here's my method for this prick. It's really hard to explain, so I'm not going to, but if you want to watch it and learn it, be my guest. Alternatively, you can just do the SSG Ballista Tactic. I'm assuming you already know what that is, considering you're doing Ultra Nightmare. And there you go, you finished our complex on UN. Good job, you're still bad.